Hey sweeties, so obviously you can tell this is an interesting video already because we're talking about Royal High and we all know, everyone knows, that divides, oh gosh, that divides the freaking community. Like honestly, I don't think I've ever seen something have this much buzz about anything. It's crazy to me. But I'm willing to do a whole talk about it because I love you guys and I'm willing to be that part of the community that just loves to talk about it because it is kind of interesting and it's kind of fun like I'm a gossip girl I love oh yeah I'm, I love gossip and so whenever I hear about it I jump to it I I I, I eat I feast off of that kind of stuff like it, it it keeps me alive you know but anyways that is what I'm going to be doing today we're going to be talking about what recently has come about like really really recent um kind of about what everything is going on with Royal High like what they've said about all their frequent updates and what they're going to be doing because it doesn't make sense to me so yeah we're gonna just we're gonna do that wig snatched I'm bold okay anyway sorry about that but yeah basically um it's kind of weird to me because like I've seen something and I, I kind of it's not like a bad thing it's just not really what I wanted to see apparently, as we've known, and I saw about it on Twitter as well, and then I looked on YouTube as well, because I kind of trust it more than Twitter. People be trolling on there way too much. <gasps> oh my god, that looks so pretty. Oh, I look gorgeous. This is me in real life, by the way. This is literally me. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Anyways, um, but yeah, oh, that looks so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Basically, as we know, Royal High ended up doing there was like a huge, huge boycott. Like, I don't think you guys understand. From a game that went from about 3 billion to about 15,000 a day, maybe not 3 billion, but it did at one point, you know? It's for a fact, guys. But yeah, it's quite a lot. And when that happened, I was like, ooh, thank you. I was like really confused. Um, It kind of doesn't make sense to me because like, didn't they kind of, you know, okay, like, didn't they end up saying to us that what they were going to be doing was they were going to be doing frequent updates and stuff, and, you know, they were going to be listening to us as the community. They said all of this stuff, and I do kind of believe that because they have been doing an update. Anyways, I know they can't do updates, like, every week. I know, realistically, all of us want updates every day, but we got to chill a little bit. All of us do, really. But are they listening? Because I'm not going to be honest, and this is going to this is gonna be a thing, I promise you, but... They were kind of calculative with what, the way they did this. Like, they ended up, you know, going on there, you know, and releasing this Starlight set, which was obviously really good. But the thing is, though, they knew that if they, the price is up high, they would, like, get people to stay on it. And maybe, like, they think, okay, we're correcting our mistake. They did the apology, made people kind of forget the whole issue that they're not, like, listening. They're not doing anything. And considering they did decide to put themselves out there on Instagram and Twitter and constantly do updates, you'd think they'd want feedback. But I don't really know if they just did this because they, like I said, wanted to distract us. And for some reason, it kind of did work. But at the same time, like, I know the thing that I'm confused about is that, like, you know, because I'm not, I'm not, like, distracted from this. I'm not, it's still on my mind, you know, about the fact that they're not, like, we haven't seen anything happen. And that's my problem. Like, I want to see actual things, you know? And I definitely was confused because, obviously, I thought after the Starlight thing, the Easter thing, they would do something interesting. But then I'm confused because I know that we're all thinking the same thing. The heck is Royal High for? Like, what does that mean? Seriously, what does that mean? What is that? And does that mean that we're not getting a continuation of this? Are they not going to focus on the problems? Are they doing another thing to distract us again? Are they thinking this way because they want to, like I said, just, you know, calculate the way to get players back and just get them intrigued again just for us to go away? My thought is, like, what exactly is the point of saying Royal High Four? Like, I don't know if that is just a way to say that they're extending something or what. But I do think that it's important that from before I start judging, I actually look into it. So let's go on Twitter and, you know, see what they put out for us. Okay, genuinely looking at everything. So if we go on Twitter, they've obviously posted the most from there and everything, showing us like, you know, kind of updates of their development process, which is obviously really good. I'm glad that they are. Um, there is a video as well showing like, you know, a potential store as well, because they do, um, Barbie said that she wanted to add some sort of like shop so we can do like late night after you've done like your schooling day, um, because they've been talking about even adding a schedule back potentially. So basically, 
you know how you used to get the old pop-ups in campus two and one of when your classes show up I think that's really good but the reason they probably haven't so far is because um there's no classes but I'm not really finding that too much of the problem it's mostly just that you know they're showing us the development thing um but then they end up saying like you know I don't know how um Royal High 4 really like too much it came about but it's not like I said it's just meant to be a supposed extension and that's what um a lot of people said and as we know there's a dev Vionchi he did end up you know liking a post saying that so I do think it's true it's just called that probably to create some buzz get people a bit confused everyone loves that but Jenny Genuinely, I do believe that perhaps, you know, like they're just saying this because they're going to be calling it that because they're going to do a huge part of the update. So they're not going to do like one phase. They're going to be doing all of it at once. And that's like, you know, like they're going to do a massive amount, all the classes, perhaps. I would love it if they did all of that. But showing from like some things, they're showing the ballroom, they're showing archery, they're showing, you know, um, like the store thing and saying that they're bringing back a schedule does make me think we're going to get a big release of all the classes and that does actually excite me because that is something all of us want we want classes back because previously the reason none of us are even even although we may want classes none of us are going back to campus two or one because you know it's boring it's very boring the classes are like a minute and they're not that great it would I think they should do a class that should be like still quite short not an actual class like an hour or 20 minutes long definitely under a minute or about a few minutes at least maybe five minutes tops but make it interesting make it interactive make it something that actually you know makes you think for a second not too difficult because there are kids you know playing but I definitely think that if they are going to be doing like you know Royal High 4 you know does that mean that they're changing up the entire like layout of this campus three now or are they going to be just it's just like extending it all and adding so much more and they just called it that but judging from what they're saying I do I can't help but like wonder if that's what their plan is to do a big release of everything but I know your worries as well like we said like where's campus three like campus three is not even done you know we haven't got a cafeteria it's a school role play like where is that but I do think that it's actually really good that we actually get a chance to you know talk about this think about what's going to happen let's hope that they actually listen to us about lowering prices or well, maybe lowering it I don't imagine they would ever do that but maybe in future sets not make them too expensive because that is crazy with the starlight set but also you know make it a bit more achievable for getting halos make it a bit more you know inclusive probably biggest thing and you know just instead of doing tiny little updates focus on the big ones and I know that's a problem but we've all boycotted royal high anyway they might as well just you know just not keep doing tiny updates and focus on doing something bigger you know and then once that's released everyone will go back I'm sure I mean maybe not everyone but if they actually do it but I am anxious if this royal high for you know if that means that we're not going to be getting anything from campus three anymore and if they've just abandoned that but I don't believe so judging from the video they've shown us of all of the plots and like all of the things they've done so I'm really excited to hopefully see what that means for us nonetheless i hope you guys all enjoyed you know like finding out a little bit more and obviously my opinion please let me know yours because i definitely just don't know where to get my head around this and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye everyone